So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the, like, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, woof. It's Windows Pro time. Right, hey, tell you there, champs. Now today we have another G banger. Yes, the G7, and this time it's the 17-inch G7. And let me tell you now, ho ho ho, this thing goes hard. Now I've said it once, I've said it twice, I've said it a million times. 17-inch gaming laptops are the best. They're probably the best for content creation as well. All comes down to screen size and if you want to know what the difference is have a look here you can see the differences between a 17 and a 15 inch usually but not always they have better cooling as well now this g banger here comes with an intel i7 8750h that so has a 6 core 45 watt cpu and an rtx 2060 and we're talking full fat rtx 2060 not a max q and this thing is like pushing at high settings fps beyond 1070 max q's yeah at medium, I'm not even joking. Of course, you can get this with the ninth generation CPUs. Now, if you want to know the difference, ninth generation, eighth generation, hey, check out. I've got a video on that. Long and short of it is, if you can get a deal on the eighth generation, get it. Like if it's like hundred dollars cheaper, just save your money and get it. But if they're around the same price, get the ninth generation. Here's a better chip, slightly better performance per watt. The big deal about the ninth generation really is the extra two cores, and then you've got to have a use case for it anyway. And you only get that with the i9. And the performance difference in gaming, it's so small, really. If I blindfolded you and said, this is an eighth and this is an ninth, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference unless you benchmark it. And we're talking a few frames here and there, nothing big. So this also comes with 16 gigabytes dual channel. Of course, you can upgrade that. You can replace the hard drive with an SSD if you want, M.2 SSD in here as well. All upgradable, RAM upgradable. And in my description, I have links to my recommended RAM for upgrades and SSDs for upgrades. Also, my recommended laptops down there. So anyway, let's see how it performs in gaming. Let's talk a little bit about thermals first. So when I run Cinebench or long runs, that CPU pegged 100%, you're looking at about 3.3 gigahertz. If you undervolt it, you can get up to the 3.9, no problems. When I was gaming, maintain 3.9 pretty much the whole time. Temperatures get up, yeah? This is what they'll do. They're not scared to let the horses run free. They'll let the temperatures go up. Other manufacturers might limit it to like 90 or whatever or a certain amount of watts. They will just give you the maximum performance. Even if you undervolt it, the temperatures will go up because it will just boost higher and i was actually very surprised it can maintain 3.9 gigahertz playing battlefield for quite a long time and it wouldn't dip that much so there's no crazy throttle in here under 3 gigahertz or anything like that you're going to have mid to high 3 gigahertz on the cpu gpu's running pretty much max speed i'm getting awesome benchmarks out of this the 17 inch display is a 60 hertz 17 inch display you can get other options of course it's a G7, so the display's not going to be as good as the premium laptops. And it is the 60 hertz entry level one. So view and angles aren't like the premium. But when you game on this, it looks perfectly fine. I mean, have a look at this content here. 4K HDR looks beautiful on this. It is a good display. It doesn't actually scream gamer. Yeah, you have a like an RGB keyboard. It's not that bright, to be perfectly honest, but it doesn't look like those juvenile sort of gaming laptops. So I like it in that way. Thermals performance are good. I mean, the frame per second speak for himself. So sometimes I think it's better to just, who cares about the thermals? Are we getting the performance? Because all gaming laptops are loud. All gaming laptops are hot. Just give me the performance. And talking about sound, the actual sound on this is actually decent too. All the ports you need, USB type A's, you got an SD card reader, full size of course, HDMI out, mini display port out, Thunderbolt 3, which a lot of laptops are dropping these days, I don't know why. Great gamer performance and have a look at the frames per second there. You can see there, the performance is good. You can bring down that temperature a little bit, but if you're playing a game where it wasn't boosted into 3.9, when you undervolt it, it'll just go up to 3.9 and then get hotter. So it is what it is when it comes to that. Great game of performance. This RTX 2060 is performing pretty much better than most of Max-Q 2070s. So that is awesome. Built like a friggin' tank. It is a commitment. 17 inches are a commitment, but... The gaming experience is awesome. You're going to love this one for gaming. Stay tuned for my full review and just here, yeah, you can have a look. I'll put some Cinebench runs. You can watch the thermals. You can watch some benchmarks. So stay tuned. You'll see the difference between undervolted and not undervolted. And yeah, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.